In this video, we're going to create the drawing for the legal description that was discussed in last class. So I did a copy clip of the legal description here. So we are a part of Section 12, Township 24, South Range 28 East in Orange County, Florida, more particularly described as. So we're going to have to start at the southeast corner of Section 12. All right. So I went into um, the the uh, PLS map and I found the 24 South 28 East and in um, Florida. So let me grab that and bring it over so you can see where I'm looking at. So if you zoom out, uh, this is Florida and it is in Orange County and it's got 28 uh, 24, 28. So here is 24. Here is 28. I zoomed in and it is this one here. Okay. So click on that one here. So we are looking at section 12 over by SeaWorld here in Florida. All right. So with that being said, so here's our, our zoomed in. I'm going to start at the southeast corner of section 12 and then go north 89 degrees, 43 minutes, 57 seconds west along the north line, okay? So what that means is, zoom out here. So this one right here is section 12. So this is the section township and range. It's a six by six uh, square for Township 24 South, Range 28 East. All right. Now, I'm interested in this one right here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and turn the geolocation. Well, I'll take that back. Yeah, I'm going to turn the geolocation map off for right now. So I'm going to turn that off. Now, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to start at... So this is the one that I'm looking at. I'm going to just highlight this just to make it a different color. And I'm also on the wrong layer. Oh, well. So I'm going to change that to a yellow layer. Right click, display order, bring to the front. So you know this is the, the section I'm working in. So now I'm going to go to the northeast corner. So the northeast corner is here. I am going to start. Um, I'm going to change this. Uh... I'm going to put it in a polyline. I'm going to create a layer. I'm going to call it 0 FAU uh, legal BND Y. And I'm going to make that current. And I'm going to go ahead and close that out. So it says that I need to go north 89, 43, 57. So I'm going to go ahead and start my command, PL for polyline. Come up here to the, to the northeast corner and pick the point. Now I'm going to come up to the transparent. If you don't have them over on the side, come up to the transparent um, tab and you're going to click bearing and distance. Now notice that when I'm rolling my, um, selecting where the, the mouse is. Notice how it jumps between the quadrants. So it says I am going in the northwest quadrant. So I'm going to just left mouse click up here and then I'm going to type in 89 degrees, D for degrees, 43 minutes and 57 seconds. Hit enter. And it falls along this line, right? So it is going to go 621, 621.34 feet. Okay. And then I'm going to hit enter. So it drew this little segment of the line along the section line, the north section line. That's what it says. Okay. So if you read the description, it is going along the north section line, along the north line. Now we're going to go south 01343 east, 
109 feet to the intersection of the South and West Limited Access Right-of-Way LAR, LARW line of Martin Anderson B line for the point of beginning. So now we're going to come from here and I can go ahead, I'm going to annotate this as I go along. Hopefully this will work. Line, single segment, I'm going to do bearing over distance or bearing and distance and I'm going to add. I'm going to pick this line right here. All right, I'm going to change this just so we can see it as I draw it. I'm going to change that to 200. Woo, that is too big. We'll do 80. I'm going to do 100. I'm having an issue seeing, and I am going to go ahead and change this to make it easier to see. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to come over to the properties, and I'm going to change to bearing over distance. All right, there we go. That's better. All right. Um, when I go to clean this up, I'll change the, the decimal places. Okay. Now from there, I'm going to start my polyline again. You can do lines if you wish, but I'm going to use a polyline myself. From that endpoint, I'm going to come up here to the transparent commands, and I'm going to go bearing and distance. And it said that I was going south east. So this is southeast over here. Pick this side or type in two for the quadrant and it's zero degrees, 13 minutes and 43 seconds. Hit enter and it's going to go 109.01 feet. Okay. Now, if you look at the aerial behind it, if you have geolocation available, you can see that it's starting at this intersection point, right? So that technically is the right-of-way line. Now, that is my point of beginning. I'm going to go ahead and label this, and I'm going to change that to bearing over distance. And I'm going to add my label here. All right. I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to bring it over here just to get it out of the way. All right, I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. I'm going to turn the aerial back off. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. And I'm going to click on the, the label. And you can actually right click and go label properties. When that happens, you can edit label style. Sorry, that was not what I wanted to do. So click on it, right click, edit label style. And when you pull this down, edit current selection. Um, the height is point 0.1. I'm going to leave it like that. Now, well, let me see what the layout looks like. 0.15. I'm going to actually change that. I might have to change it back in a minute, but I'm going to go ahead and change it to 0 0.15. Right. <clears throat> in the layout, I want you to go ahead and highlight the uh, the label for the general segment. And oh no, that one's got it. That one's got the correct. Uh, no, it doesn't. It's got too many um, decimals for the the seconds. So I need to change that seconds to one second. And then you're going to click that over. Notice how it changed. All right, go OK. Now change the distance. So you're going to click on the component name, come down to distance. Click on the ellipse. Highlight it. Change that to two decimal places. OK. Ah, I forgot to hit the arrow key over have to highlight it, leave the foot mark, two decimal places, hit the arrow key over. Okay, now it's got two, apply, and okay. And okay. All right, so this is our point of beginning. So if I did annotation, multi-leader, 
endpoint here. This is a PO point of beginning. Okay. So I'm going to change that height. I'm going to change it to annotative. Change the height to point one and the arrow to point one. All right. I'm going to copy this piece of text, CO for copy, from the endpoint here to the endpoint here. And this is point of commencement. Okay. All right. Now, from there, I am going to south 01343 east along the west um, LA right of way line. I'm going 406.29 feet to the north right of way line of the Westwood Boulevard phase one, a 120 foot width right of way as recorded. So what that means is if I look at my aerial And the aerial is not going to be perfect. What it's going to be telling me is I'm going to go down south with the same bearing and I'm going a distance of um, 406.29 to the north right of way line, to the north right of way line of this road here. And that road there, just to double check, I'm going to do a map hybrid. So this was the Martin Anderson and that one is the Westwood Boulevard. Okay, I'm going to turn the aerial back off. All right, so now I'm going to start my command again. Uh, PO. I'm going to start at the point of beginning, and I'm going to go to my transparent command, bearings and distance, and it is still the southeast quadrant and I am going zero degrees, 13 minutes, 43 seconds, enter, and I'm going 406.29 feet. Oh, I have a major typo in that one. Let me do that over. Polyline. Bearings and distance, snap. I'm gonna come over to the southeast quadrant. Zero degrees, 13 minutes, 40, oops, 43 seconds. Uh, 406.29 feet, enter. Why am I having such a hard time? Do it one more time. It's going in the right direction. Hopefully you're all not having as much problem as I am. Just bear with me. There it is. All right, now, the next line says that I am going to go south 89 degrees, 46 minutes, 17 seconds west along the north right of way line of Westward Boulevard. Okay. Going 250 feet to the point of curvature of a curve concave, concave south, I'm sorry, southerly, having a radius of 1660 feet. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and draw that line, that first line. So I am going to start my command, PL, snap here, and transparent, 
and I'm going to be going in the um, southwesterly. So southwesterly, pick either three, type in three, or pick in the southwesterly direction. And it's going to have 89 degrees, 46 minutes, 17 seconds, hit enter. And it is going, let me see where this is going, 250 feet, 250, escape. Now I'm going to turn my aerial back on. Okay, so that is the North Railway line. If I was drawing a map also, I might go ahead and offset 120 feet because that's what that right of way line is, just as a, you know, part of my map mapping. Notice that the aerial is not perfectly matched with this. So um, just to let you know, so it's not always going to fall because I believe the the right of way line, it would be more so at the edge of the uh, uh, sidewalk. Okay but it gets us close. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pause here and then we're gonna take a look at um, drawing the curve, all right?